Okay, we made it to Key West. We're just waiting now to uh, get on the ferry and we're gonna be going off to uh, Dry Tortugas. That's the ferry terminal. There's uh, chickens and roosters just walking around wild. Just seven in the morning on a Saturday, so there's not uh, too much for traffic. Hey there, buddy. Is that your girlfriend? Click, 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 click. The Yankee Freedom 3. Everybody, here we are. We made it to Dry Tortugas. This is an old uh, fort built during the Civil War. It's over uh, 60 million bricks. It wasn't completed. This is a ferry that we came in on. And then these are the uh, seaplanes some other people used. We're gonna go in, we're gonna check out the fort, and then after, we're going to uh, do some snorkeling and see what kind of fish we can find. So here we are, we made it to the center of Fort Jefferson. This fort used to be used as a old uh, prison. The most famous prisoner was this Dr. Mudd who uh, fixed, or I should say set, the leg of John Wilkes Booth after he broke it, uh, after he assassinated President Lincoln. So I'm coming over here to just take a look at what they say is the most haunted area, if you believe in that, of the entire fort. This is where the engineers built their barracks. So the engineers got houses and the common soldiers, they had to stay out here in tents.
15 inch. So these cans were too heavy for them to take out of here. They sold all the other ones off. But these few, they left. Just landed, and now it's taken off again. Cool place. Now we're gonna go and uh, do some snorkeling. So we're done exploring, now it's time to go snorkel. Yeah, the great thing about this place, they have free uh, flipper and snorkel and goggle uh, rentals. So all you do when you pay to take the uh, boat here, you get uh, these included, no extra charge. So let's go do this. Let's go see what we can find. Hopefully we see a shark. That's what I'm hoping for. Never seen a shark before in the water in my whole life. So that's what I'm hoping for. Oh, it's a piping plover. PEI's national bird. It's not, it's some kind of plover. I don't know if it's, it could be, maybe. Maybe they come here. So you're not allowed to swim in the moat. That's the other thing too. You're not allowed to swim in the moat. You can swim all the way around here, but probably not gonna swim on this side. That seems pretty crowded. On this side here, there's an old, uh, there's an old wharf, like pylons for when they used to deliver coal. They would have this as a coaling station. Other ships would arrive and then they would unload to those steamships. That was pretty cool. That was right over top. That was not planned. Nice. I'm glad he didn't hit me. <laughs> All right. First location. All right, here we are. Water drops right off. I think it's about 15, 16 feet deep in the deep blue. Over here, they suggest not touching anything because there's uh, fire coral on everything. Found some conch shells. 
some dried up coral bricks. All right, here we are, second film location. I'm gonna swim around that pier and then around the side of this fort. I only have an hour before the boat leaves, so I gotta hurry this up.
All right, here we go. Leaving probably for Tugas. Uh, luckily, the footage works. So just did a preemptive check. That uh, 11 minutes are there. Uh, anyway, overall, it's been a fun trip. Didn't get to go along the seawall, but next time. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. So long, Port Jefferson.